It was business as usual at Silver Hatch. Maxi had been driving too fast around Gravel Corner again and had had yet another accident. A message from Mr. Carboret. He says you've got to stop showing off on the track, Maxi. Oh, Mr. Carboret doesn't want to. Hey, Biggie Chris, do you mind? I'm not a set of drums, you know. All right, all right, okay. Having a bit of fun. Mr. Carburet doesn't want the slow racing cars, Marsha. He was the faster ones that to win the races. You've already damaged your wings and your springs. You don't want to damage anything else, do you? Excuse me. Uh, I've just done a full check of Silver Hatch circuit and... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Sorry, I was out of my mind then, enjoying that music. You what were you saying, Mole Com? Um, uh, what was I saying, Big Chris? Um... I don't know. Oh, so, yeah, that's it. You check the circuit. You've checked the circuit. Oh, yes. Um, there's hardly any sand in the gravel trap. We can't have an empty gravel trap. I'm not having that. If Maxi comes off Gravel Corner like he did this morning, he'll have nothing to stop his spin. You'd better get it filled up right away, Big Chris. You better get it filled up right <laughs> away. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, and, and by the way, have you perchance seen any of my walkie-talkies? I've only got one, and I've no, I've got a two. There's one in the back pocket here. Three. There's one down here, and I'll. All right, I've got three. Three then. <laughs> uh, Big Chris. Yeah. Oh, and another one. Four. All right, I've got four. I don't, I don't, I don't know how they get here, Marsha. I do not know how they get here. Oh, I do, Big Chris. You like to squirrel them in. <laughs> Big Chris. Never mind laughing about walkie-talkies. Where am I going to get a load of sand from now? Oh, I know. You could get it from the seaside. Hey, that is a belting idea, Rory, my son. Well, ask Plugger. He can carry it for us. And I can help you to shovel it up. Rock on! Anyone seen Big Chris? Where has he got to? He's gone to the sea. He's gone to get some sand. He had the starter's flag last, and now I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Along the beach. <laughs> I've got a better idea, Rory. Let's build a sand castle. Come on, I love it. Oh. I love the seaside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Pile it on. Pile it on. Pile it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't hear enough of it. At the seaside on the beach, we like to play. We like to mess around a lot and have a lovely day. At the seaside on the beach, we like to be. To have a laugh and giggle and a race beside the sea. We can dig the sand and build a castle grand. There's one more thing! Don't forget the flag! At the seaside on the beach is where we went. To have a laugh and giggle with the sun out on me head. At the seaside on the beach we like to play. We like to mess around a lot to have a I'm off to check the track before Mr. Carburetor arrives. We better make sure Big Chris fills the gravel track before Marsha gets to it. Wait for me, Drifter. Fantastical! Now I can entertain Mr. Carburetor all by myself. Wow! Hey. That's fantastic! Oh. It's the best sandcastle I've ever seen. Big Chris! You'd better get back to Silver Edge with the sand right away! Mice has gone to inspect the track! Oh, start loading, Plugger! Start loading! Oh, oh, stop! We can't take the sand from the beach! Other people would be really sad if they came here and there wasn't enough sand for them to build sandcastles! 
I suppose you're right, CC. I didn't think of it. I just got carried away in all the excitement. Um, we need to fill that gravel trap, though, before Mr. Carburetta arrives. What are we going to do? Uh, um, maybe, maybe Farmer Green will have some sand at his farm we could use. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> We'd better not leave that here. That gravel trap's still nearly empty. What's Big Chris up to? Oh, it was lucky that Farmer Green had some sand. Come on, Plugger. I know you're ready, but put your foot down. We've got to shift this sand and fast. Come on. <laughs> Big Chris. Come in, Big Chris. Are Bonjour, you receiving no. me? Uh, hello, Marcia. Uh, hello, Mr. Carburetta. Uh, where's the Big Chris and the other cars? Uh, uh, Big Chris took the other cars for a run along the beach. Ah, uh, at the beach? Ah, oh, it's a not a holiday. I hope he's not letting them get the sand in their engines. No, no, no. Big Chris thought you might like to see me do a solo run, Mr. Carpenter. Yes. See, I think I do. Excellente. Marsha, flag a maxi off. Um, I can't. Huh? And why not? Why? Huh! Maxi doesn't need a flag! Just how fast I can go! Stop, Maxi, stop! Oops! Uh oh! Ay, ay, ay! I can't look! No! <laughs> yes! Yes! A big Chris? That was a brilliant idea to lay sand down on the bend to stop my Maxi getting broken again. Oh, it's just a little idea I had while we were at the seaside, Mr. Carburetta, sir. <laughs> so come on, I want to see all my beautiful cards in action. Marsha, have you got the green starter flag ready this time? Oh, um... Thanks, Rory. I... I, I uh... You're my number one star. And so the race started, exactly as it always does at Silver Hatch Racetrack. One, two, three, four, five, and the way! Go on, son! <laughs> it had been a busy day at Silver Hatch Racetrack. Big Chris and Marsha had been getting everything ready for the big race the next day. Cars all checked. Yep, all done. Don't worry, Marsha. Everything's ready for the big race tomorrow. Great. Well, I'm off home then. I need an early night before tomorrow. <whistles> Bye. Cheerio, Marsha. Ooh, eh? What a day. Right, suppose a bit of lock up for the night. Ah! Oh. I can't stop. Hey? Ah! What's going on in there? Hey, 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 hey. Ah! It's okay, Rory. Shush, shush, shush. What's happened? What's the matter? I crashed, Big Chris, right in the middle of the big race. No, you didn't. You've just had a bad dream, that's all. Oh, I can't race tomorrow. I'm scared I'll mess it up. It's just, just like I did in my dream. No, you won't, Rory. Listen, I was about I tell you a story, just to help you get back to sleep. Yes, please. 
please. Right, now, uh, where should I begin? Oh, I know. This is a belter. Once upon a time, a little brave red racing car arrived for his first day at Silver Hatch, and his name was Rory. He's a great little car, Mr. Carbretta. Yes, but he's not in the same league as my Maxi. Go, Maxi, go! <laughs> That's a my boy. This Rory, he's a very young. Maybe he has potential. Welcome to Silver Hatch, Rory. I'm Mr. Cabaretto, the owner of all that you see. H Hello, Mr. Cabaretto. I'll be watching you today to see how you get on. Come on, Marja. Don't worry, Rory. You'll be fine. If you need anything, just give us a beep. See you later. Now you just wait here, whilst I go and get a beer ready for you. OK. Wow. I'll never be able to do that. Of course you will. Oh, no. I don't think so. Who are you? I'm Sissy. <laughs> do you race too? Yes. I'm off to do some practice laps. But I'll come and see how you're settling in later. Au revoir. Bye-bye. I wish I could be a real racing car. Hey, hey, what's all this about? Oh, because I'll never be brave enough to be a real racing car. Listen, Rory, everyone's nervous on their first day. But don't worry. We'll get you racing in no time, son. Come on! Welcome to your new home, Rory. Hey, this is where my number one star will sleep. Who's your number one star? You are, of course. Oh, thanks, Big Chris. You're all right. Come on, let's have a look at this engine. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> hey, Big and Crazy, my oil needs topping up. When are you going to stop tinkering with that little squirt's engine? Hey, Maxie, that's no way to welcome Rory. Oh, sorry. Pay no attention to him. He don't mean any harm. OK, that should do it. Are you ready to light him up, Rory? <laughs> Oh, that sounds good to me. Rory is tuned to perfection. Ha! Little squirt. Hello, Rory! Hi, CC! How are you settling in? <sighs> I don't think I belong here. I'm not a proper racing car. You look like one to me. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you around Silver Edge. Okay. This is Rusty, where Big Chris lives. Oh, hello there. You must be Rory, the new arrival. Just getting me beauty sleep. <laughs> Come on. This is the starter's grid, where all the races start from. And up there, that's the commentary tower. Now, I'll show you around the rest of the track. <laughs> Catch me if you can! Come on, Rory! Catch me if you can! Race me! Race you! That's it! Race you! Me too! Better look out! Catch me if you can! <laughs> I want you to do the last practice circuit to check your engines are running smoothly. One, two, three, four, five, go! Oh, lovely, 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 lovely.
this car around the track. Well yeah, done, Rory. Rory. Well done. Well done. Come on. Well Bravissimo, done. Rory. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, not bad, but I wasn't going my fastest, you understand. <laughs> wow. I can be a real racing car after all. Look at that. Fast asleep. I think that story helped. See you in the morning, Rory. No night, son. Sleep well. <sighs> morning, everyone! Ready for the big race? Oh, oh, Mamma Mia! I need my oil checked. I have to be oh, no, perfect. No, no, no. Oh, oil. What if I don't beat my lap time? My tires are flat. I won't be able to glide around the corners. I'm sure I'm going to hit them barriers today. I, I just know I'm going to crash. Don't worry, everyone. It's OK to be nervous. Maybe I can tell you the story about the brave little red racing car. And so Rory told the others how he overcame his nerves on his first day at Silverhatch. The other cars forgot about their worries and started looking forward to the big race. It was a very busy day at Silver Hatch as everyone got ready for the safety inspector's visit. Don't worry, Mr. Carburetor. Everything's under control. Yes. Oh, Malcolm, be a love and go and check the safety cones. Safety cones? Uh, right. Mm. Big Chris, clean up any oil spills in the workshop, will you? Then find the Silver Hatch safety certificate. Without that, this safety inspector could close us down. Right you are, Marshal. <laughs> tin top, tin top. Hey, watch this. <laughs> hey? Whoops, I gotta go. I'll see you later, buddy. What? What? Oh, Rory. The safety inspector will be here any minute, and this place is a mess. Sorry, Marsha. Oh, someone needs to check the first aid kits, and... Oh, oh, where's the fire extinguisher gone? Oh! What's all the fuss? The safety inspector is coming, whoever she is. Two more carrots! <gasps> the safety inspector's worse than Mr Carburetta on a bad day. Ooh. No, 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 no. Everything has to be perfect. You better watch out, Rory. <laughs> what if the safety inspector find something wrong with me? Well, she might stop me driving. I'm going to hide away till she's gone. <laughs> oh, I, I know I put that safety certificate somewhere. Maybe it's in the workshop. What's Marsha going to say? What is it? Things were what better is... run in the good old days. Back then, things ran like clockwork. Um, uh, hi, Rusty. How are you? Hello, Rory. I was just remembering the good old days when cars were cars and caravans were caravans. Oh, grand times. <sighs> but tell me about them, Rusty. <sighs> Rusty? Oh, Rusty! Stop it! Get off! Oh, Chris, what's my plan to work? Oh, what's, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Give over, Maxie! I don't have your safety I certificate! Have it. Safe. Safe. But I have to get it safe now! <laughs> Big Chris! I told you to clean up this 
Oh no! I'm I'm sorry, Marsh. I'm sorry, but I, I'm busy looking for that safety certificate. I can't find it anywhere. It's doing me head in. Marsha! Oh, Dinky has escaped from his field and he's on the race track. Oh, that's all I need. Big Chris, clean up that oil and find that safety certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier said than done, that. Rusty! Rusty, wake up! <laughs> Rusty! Oh, oh, sorry, Rory. What were we saying? <laughs> I was asking you about the good old days. Oh, yes. The good old days. Oh, I used to cruise the open roads, air in me tyres, each hill a new horizon. Wow. I never thought about you actually going places. I just thought you were always parked here, going rusty and full of Big Chris's mess. You're right, my lad. I'm not the caravan I used to be. Me shiny paint is faded and me curtains are all frayed. Me door is kind of broken in a wonky kind of way. I used to live <sighs> the high life, the caravan to be. But now, nothing happens to me. I remember the days I used to be fine. I remember the ways me wheels used to shine. But now you can see nothing happens to me. Oh, I never knew. But you're still really useful, Rusty. Nice of you to say so, Rory. But let's face it, I wouldn't really be missed at Silver Edge. But shouldn't you be getting ready for the safety inspection? Uh, no, not really. I'm just... Hanging around. Oh, I see. Uh, Dinky! Oh, Dinky! Will you get back in your field? Oh, nothing's going right. Marsha to Big Chris, are you receiving over? <gasps> Big Chris? Eh? Come in, Big Who's Chris. Who said that? Where's that coming from? Are you there, Big Chris? All right, walkie talkie. Press here, press here. What's up, Marsha, love? Have you found that safety certificate yet? Uh, no, but I know I put it somewhere safe when I had my tea yesterday. Over... Oh, can't anything go right today? <gasps> oh, at last! Oh, thanks, Malcolm. Oh. oh, no! Here comes Helly with the safety inspector! Oh! That must be the safety inspector. What? She's coming in heli? She might see me hiding from up there. What would you be hiding for, Rory? Oh, um, well, I'm hiding from the safety inspector. Flash said she might stop me driving if she doesn't like the look of me. <laughs> no, the safety inspector comes for a good reason. To make sure everything is safe for all you cars to race around the track. Really? So I don't have to hide after all. Oh, where's that certificate? Where have I put it? <laughs> Big Chris, Big Chris, have you found the safety certificate? I don't know where I've put it. I've looked everywhere. Marsha, this safety inspector's waiting oh. for you. Something about a safety certificate? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> We've had it. Are you sure you can't remember where you put it, Big Chris? I'm sorry, Marsha, love, but I can't. I can't remember. I'm wrecking my brains. I can. Oh, well, that's it then. What did you say, Rusty? Big Chris, what did you have for your tea last night? Pizza. Pizza it was Tuesday with a pepperoni topping. Oh, handsome chunks of farmhouse pepperoni. I've never tasted anything like it. Was, it was... Why? Why? Cos... You put the safety certificate in the pizza box for safekeeping. So I did. So I did. Well done, Rusty, me old son. Get in there. You are my eyes. Your ears. You are my everything. <laughs> Flesh. 
What's all this about you frightening Rory about the safety inspector? I think you owe him an apology. Sorry, Rory. <laughs> well, that's all right, Flash. I found it! I found it! Oh, goodness! Oh, there's a bit of pepperoni stuck to it. Come here. Oh, hot or cold, it is beautiful. Well, at least I can rely on Rusty to remember things. I'd better show this certificate to the inspector. Thanks, Rusty. You saved me bacon, though, son. Not to mention Silver Hatch. And you saved me from worrying about the safety inspector, too, Rusty. You see, you are useful after all. Thanks, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> safety inspection went perfectly, and Rusty realised that Silver Hatch just wouldn't be the same without him. <laughs> 